Hi everyone, this is Sherry. This is another of my speed painting videos, and for this I'm painting the Dark Lady from Sailor Moon, because lately I've been obsessed with drawing and painting a ton of Sailor Moon fan art. Don't ask me why, <laughs> I grew up watching Sailor Moon and she's one of my hugest inspirations, so I couldn't help myself. Uh, I wanted to test out acrylic paint, and this was actually my first painting I've ever done with acrylic paint and it turned out really nice, at least for my first try, right? I gotta keep working with it to get better at it. If you're watching my speed painting videos for the first time, definitely make sure to drop by my Twitter and my Instagram. I'll leave links in the description of the video. You can find me on Patreon as well. I upload all of my behind the scenes sketches, a ton of looks into my private sketchbook. You get discounts on art merchandise, high res scans of all of my illustrations. There's so much on there, seriously. It's like a Disneyland of magical things for you guys to check out. So go take a look at my Patreon if you want to support my art and get a bunch of exclusive, awesome things only available to my patrons there. I am typically a pencil artist and watercolorist, and I only really use acrylic and gouache to supplement my paintings as like little accents on top. And for this piece, I wanted to do something that was entirely acrylic. Um, I'd never really worked with acrylic before. I've sort of tested it in my Canson mixed media sketchbook, but I had so many issues with it because it was always streaky and it just didn't behave the way that I wanted it to. Um, now, when I worked on this piece, I spent about three, three hours total on it and it was just very purposeful work. I wanted to work on this piece specifically with the intention of getting better at painting with acrylic and, you know, it was three hours well spent because I figured out a lot about how to use it. Um, one, I learned that layering it is the easiest way to get opacity from it and that I shouldn't be afraid of the first few streaky layers because those layers do not represent what the end painting result is going to be like. So, you know, don't try to establish values from the very beginning uh, when you're attempting to render skin or a background. You're really just blocking in color to begin with and you want to paint over those initial layers to get your painting to look nice. <laughs> I hope I'm doing a good job explaining this. I think this entire piece is about seven by seven inches and I'm doing it on canvas board because since I don't know how to paint with acrylic I wanted to purchase the cheapest thing possible so I ended up grabbing this canvas board um, which is like you can buy a ton of them in a like a five pack or a 20 pack for so dirt cheap It's crazy. I'm also using incredibly cheap paint brushes Seriously, uh, the brush I'm using right now. I think it was only like a couple of cents, but it's really great It works really well And that's because all of my actual brushes are watercolor brushes and I didn't want to ruin them by using acrylic with them because acrylic again behaves totally different from watercolor. If you want to see a list of all of the tools I use and the various brands that I recommend for watercolors, pencils, paints, paint brushes, uh, acrylics, palettes, all of that good stuff, definitely drop by my Patreon. And if you just want to see art, don't forget to drop by my Tumblr, my Instagram. Uh, I'll drop all of the links in the comments and you know, I thought I was finished with this piece, but I actually decided to go back in with a little bit of Copic multi-liner just to like establish some of the shadows and fine details on the piece. Just because I, you know, just in case someone was sitting there like squinting at my image, I just wanted to make sure that it looked absolutely perfect. So <laughs> I went back in and uh, made it perfect because I'm a perfectionist. If you guys like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe, drop a comment if you want to see more, and if you're excited to see my full color watercolor pieces, definitely let me know. And thank you guys so freaking much for watching this. I'm so happy to be painting and uploading these videos to YouTube. Thanks you guys. See you next video.